What's up? Let's play Diamond Heart, Alan Walker. Today is Friday. I hope your Friday's going well. Cause like, dude, why wouldn't it go well? So we have another four chord jam for you. I'm gonna give you five different ideas on how to work this, get a little bit spacey with it, a little creative, hopefully with it. So our chords are pretty simple. They're D minor, A minor, C major, and G major chord, which you already know. I'm sure you already knew that before you got here. So the first thing we can do is a little boom chuck with it, our D minor, zero, two, three, one. So if you're playing with a pick, separating the bass from the uh, upper notes or with your fingers to A minor zero I'm skipping a string two one zero to be lazy but you could play it zero two two one zero to uh, C chord again I'm just playing uh, the bass and the three upper strings three skip a string zero one zero to a G three skip a string zero zero three which sounds like Let's have a little more fun with it. A little bouncy arpeggio going up and down. Right? I'm just going up. Starting on string four. Now on string five. But I'm playing just the upper three strings. So string five, three, two, one. C. And on the G, I'm gonna go string six, four, three, two, three, zero, zero, three. Gives you this sound. Now I'm gonna steal a little bit of that melody and put it in the uh, upper voice of the chords so we get. Uh, now I'm going to play two notes at the same time, my D and F sharp, sorry, D and F, zero and one. One, zero, uh, one, three, zero, one. With the bass note. And I'm going to actually roll the chords I play. Just the first time, not every time. And then my thumb is playing on the uh, downbeats. For the A minor, the same thing. And you can kind of have fun with this. You can go uh, one, three, zero, back to three, or one, three, zero, back to one. I like to alternate them and kind of play with it a little bit. Just to give it a little, I don't know, a little more variety. So we had. Now for the C, same thing, same exact thing we had in the top part for the A minor, the uh, one, three, zero. And then there's this little melody that he plays on the keyboard, um, three, zero, zero, three, but the melody is zero, one, three on the second string. And goofing around with it sounds like, And one last thing to do, because there was an upper melody that I wanted to incorporate, uh, and because of that, I'm going to use all bar chords. So I'm going to play the D minor here in the fifth position, five, seven, seven, six, five. It doesn't really matter exactly what I'm playing with my fingers. The key is that the bass, my thumb, is playing bass notes on accented beats, one, two, three, four, one, and three, and then just filling the gaps with the upper fingers. Right? And just for shits and giggles, let's go up to this. Let's add the C on the first string um, for this A minor chord. So that's five, skip two strings, five, five, seven. Or if you want to play an extra octave, you could put a seven on the fifth string. So you get. Then up to the eighth position, C major chord. 
8, 10, 10, 9, 8, 8, but I'm not playing the 10 on the string 5, so I'm playing 8, skip a string, 10, 9, 8, 8. All of this, just so I'm in position for his upper note melody on the G chord. And that melody is I'm playing a G on 10th fret of the 5th string, and the melody, the melody is just going to be this. Melody being 10 on string 1, 8, 7, string 2, 8, and the landing on the D minor chord, 5th fret, right there. So, but the easy way to pull this off is just hold down the G on 10th fret, 5th string, and use the open B string, that's part of a G chord, and walk down. I'm going to play the G every other note just because it gives a little extra movement. Right? And we got to add the G on the second string. Right? And then land on the D minor in the fifth position. I hope that gives you some ideas of what you could do with just four chords and a kind of atmospheric, dancey, you know, kind of structure. Cool. I'll see you guys next time because I know you're going to subscribe and you're going to thumbs up and you're going to see me the next time I play something, right? Love y'all. Bye.